Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the largest element present in the array or how to find the maximum element present in the array. So first of all, let us understand the explanation behind the code that we are going to implement to find the largest element present in the array. So let's say we have an array of integer data type and the elements present in the array are 30, 20, 10, 50 and 40. So we have already learned how the array elements are stored inside the array. They are stored as per the index position. So how these elements will be stored for this particular array? So for the array position 0, the first element will be stored which is 30. So array with index position 1, the element will be 20. So in this way, all the elements of this array will be stored as per their index position. Now I want to find out which is the largest element present inside this array. So here, what are the steps to find it? So the first step is, first we will initialize the maximum element. So let's say, whatever array elements present in the array, we will initialize one particular element to the max variable. So let's say we have one variable of integer type, int max. So we will initialize this max variable to the first position. So let's say array of 0. So array of 0 we have 30. So the max will have the 30 now. This is just the random assignment to this max variable. So whatever is the first element that we will assign it to the max variable. And after that what we will do? We will just compare that max value with the other array values. Let's say we have assigned now the max to array of 0. So array of 0 is 30. So max will have the value as 30. Now we will just compare every element with the current max. So our current max is 30. So we will compare this particular current max to all the remaining array values. So how we will do this? So let's understand here. So our current max is 30 because array of 0 is 30. Now we will compare with the other elements. So the other element is 20. Is 30 less than 20? No. So it means that the current max is already maximum only with respect to the current element, right? As 30 is not less than 20. So our max will be 30 only. Now we will again compare 30 with the next array element. So the next array element is 10. So is 30 less than 10? No. So it means 30 is maximum here. So we will proceed with 30 only. Now our max value will be 30 only. Now next element is 50. Now in this case, is 30 less than 50? Yes. Now our condition becomes true. So we will update the max now. So max will get updated to 50. So understand the logic here. First step is to initialize the max variable to the first array index position. You can assign this array of 0 or array of 1, array of 2, any particular element as max and then you need to compare it. Okay. So for the programming purpose, we will assign the first element to the max and after that we will just compare it so in this step 30 was less than 50 so we have assigned max now 50 means we have updated the max to 50 and now we will compare this max with the next iteration so next iteration is 40 right array of 4 so 50 is less than 40 no so we will not update the max here so max was 50 so we have updated it to 50 only so this is the logic here if the condition becomes true, in that case only you need to update the max. So here only 30 less than 50, this condition was true, so we have updated the max. So in this way you can find largest element present inside the array. So I hope you have understood the logic here. So here I have taken the same array elements 30, 20, 10, 50 and 40. So now the first step is to initialize the max variable. So let's declare it. So int max is equal to num of 0. So what we have done? We have now assigned the num of 0 value which is 30 to our max variable. Now we need to compare this value value with the remaining array values here. So how to iterate it? With the help of for loop. So we will provide here for loop for int i is equal to 1. We will not start from 0 because we have already assigned the 0 value to the max. So no need to compare it with the 0 value, right? 
So int of i is equal to one. I less than num dot length. We will continue till one position less than the length of array. Then we will iterate the iteration here i plus plus. And inside this for loop, we need to provide the condition now. So what was the condition? We need to compare our max with the current iteration. So we will provide here condition if max is less than array of i. If our max, so currently max is num of 0, if it is less than array of i, so what it means array of i is greater, right? Is yes, what we need to do? We need to update our max. So max we will update to array of i. Array of i. So that's it. Only this thing we need to do. And in the other situation, sorry, our array is num here, right? So we will say here num. And what if the condition comes otherwise? If max is greater than num of i, so in that case we don't need to do anything, right? So it means our max was already greater. Now we will come out of the for loop and we will print the maximum element here. So let's say maximum element is equal to max. So let's run this code. So what will be the output in this case? So the maximum element present here is 50, right? So let's run this code. So we got here 50. Now let's try to modify the values here. Let's say I provide here 90. So in this case, what will happen? The largest element is 90. Let's run this code. See, we are getting here maximum element is 90. So how the code is working? So first step what we have done, we have assigned the value of max. So we what value we have assigned it? 30. So in the first time, what will happen? 30 will get compared to 90. So 30 is less than 90 right so max will get updated to 90 so max will have the value 90 next time 90 will get compared to 10 so it is not less so it will not go inside this if condition again 90 will be compared to 50 the condition is false 90 is less than 40 again the condition is false so max was our 90 only so in this way the particular code is working so i hope you have understood how to find the largest element present in the array so just two things you need to remember first you need to initialize the max variable and then you need to compare that max variable with the remaining array elements so that's it in this video we will cover another coding topics in next video thank you for watching